Hey, check out this nice size pike. I'll show you how you can catch northern pike like this on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations, guys. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital, and today we are going to do some fishing. For those of you who caught my uh, JVD quick update video, yes, I have got a new video card. Got myself the GTX 1070 GeForce, and let me tell you, it's been a while since I've used NVIDIA, but um, I'm using it now, and it seems to work great. And let's get to the setup that we're using. So we're on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada. And we're going to try to fish for the northern pike out here. Big northerns, guys. They get up to trophies. Uh, trophy size, not unique, but trophy. Still a pretty good size northern pike um, selection, I guess you can say, that's out in the lake. And even the uh, smaller four to six and seven pounders, they are, they are a nice size uh, northern pike as well. So what I have here, we're going to do a variety of fishing today. We're going to do some float fishing and some casting. I've got my Phoenix 14-foot, 10-inch uh, pull for uh, float fishing with the fat boy spend 4,000 reel on it and I do believe this is either let me see let me go to my backpack let me go to my lines we've got 20 pound test on this one set at a depth of 45 inches with a six odd hook and we're going to start off uh, fishing shiners probably and we might even fish some large minnows on this setup and now I've got my salmon monster eight foot two inch pole uh, this one is a little bit heavier, might have to use it past certain crankbaits, uh, that way they do not break my casting rod. But this one has the Redfish 4500 reel on it, and this one is loaded up with 30 pound test line. And finally, our casting rod here, we're going to start off fishing with the Bass Caster 7 foot 10 inch, and it's got the Counselor 3500P reel on it, loaded up with 12 pound monofilament line. Uh, should be enough to reel in these pikes if that's what you're going for is just a northern pike the 12 pound line should be okay uh, unless you get a monster on the line and we're going to start off fishing the half ounce walker i do believe this walker has a let's go ahead and pop it in here real quick just to see 12 and or half ounce walker with a three odd hook so that's what we're doing we're going to go out here so without further delay let's hit White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada, and see if we can't land ourselves some nice size northern pike. Being that there's only one spawn point here on Alberta, or in Alberta, Canada, on White Moose Lake, that cast is not going to do it. Let's try reeling that back in. I'm as far off to the right as you can go. All the way up against this wall here, and you'll see out here, do you see the log and the two other logs sticking out of the water? right to the right here right in front of that guy that's standing to the right of me i cast to the left of that now be careful when casting in this area because uh if you get caught up on those logs for some reason the lure and the line goes just absolutely crazy and it'll shoot up into the air and and it causes all kinds of problems so uh, try to avoid even touching that log out there those logs out there with your line but I got the walker on and I'm just doing a, a steady retrieve on it, twitching it ever so often. I like to do a two, a one or a two retrieve on it and twitch it. And usually that'll entice something, whether it be a pike. Oh, oh, what do we got? Right up here by the shore, we got a fish on. Let's take a look here what we got. It is a 5.9 pound northern pike. Not bad. Not bad. As you can see, we're losing a little bit of XP uh, due to the weight of the line, I believe. The line is 12 pound, and I believe that's the reason why we're losing the XP, but that's okay. I'm not concerned about the XP. If you guys are, you might want to switch to lighter line. Now, I switched over to the blue and silver crankbait. I don't know uh, don't know what the exact color of it is uh, in-game, what they call it, but it looks blue and silver to me, so that's what I'm going to call it. 
I didn't really pay attention. Anyways, retrieving this at a just a one reel speed, nice and steady, no uh, no twitching, no jerking, anything like that. And look at that, we got a fish on. Nice. We'll see if we can get this thing in. My drag. Oh man, my drag might be set a bit too high. Might have to adjust that. Don't want this fish to break the line. So so far so good. Oh oh yep, it's uh no ah. And that's when happens when you don't have your drag set properly on your reel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch to a different crankbait. Hopefully I could buy one in the shop. I really like that blue and silver color at a three foot depth. Unfortunately, it's not looking like they have it at that depth. So let's see what I got in my bag of tricks here. I got a 12 footer. But you know what? I haven't uh, I haven't tried this yellow and green crankbait yet. It's an eight foot. Should be okay for this area, and it looks like it's too heavy for this particular rod. Uh, I really want to use this one, though. I really, really want to use this yellow and green crankbait. Let's see. It'll go on the salmon monster. Okay, I know that. Let's try that. And I'm just going to cast right back out here. see if we can't get ourselves a hit now guys if you're wondering why I've got 30 pound line on this rod and 20 pound line on my flow fishing setup it's because sometimes you will land some yep, see and there it goes the line gets crazy on the logs there sometimes you will land uh, a big lake trout or a big Atlantic salmon out here uh, especially using shiners or large minnows or a crankbait and I just want to make sure that if, uh, you know, happen to get one of those on the line, let's see, we got a fish on here. If I happen to get one of those larger fish on the line, I don't want to, I uh, don't want to lose it or my lure. Let's see what we got here. This thing's coming in nice and easy. Looks like a pike. And look at that. Yep. Another five pounder, 5.3 pound Northern pike. Not bad. Good money for these things, guys. Real good money. Price per pound is fantastic on the Northern Pike. We'll go ahead and keep him and put him on the stringer. Now this area is a great spot for pike, but you could also catch them out of the kayak. Now I've gone ahead and rented myself a kayak here and we're heading right out to the area we were just at. Except instead of fishing from the dock, obviously we're gonna be fishing from the kayak and we're gonna wanna get behind those two, uh, that log and the two logs that poke up out of the water. We're going to want to get behind them. And as you can see, in the little bit of a distance out there, you'll see a little channel almost. Right behind the logs. The logs are off to the right. And I have good luck. Uh, I've had real good luck actually catching pike in this area. As a matter of fact, I caught two trophies yesterday out of this area. And they were, uh, the biggest one was 14 pounds. Let me see if I can get this kayak situated the way I want it to be. I have caught uh, two trophies from the dock as well, but over here, over here I have caught them, um, caught two trophies as well. And the biggest one was a 14 pounder. Let's try and see if I can get a little bit of a better angle here. It's kind of, kind of difficult to get this kayak sometimes positioned just the way you want with uh, putting the anchor down. Go ahead and cruise a little bit. Back it up a little bit. I'm gonna wanna try to swing it a little bit to the right. Come on. There we go, just like in real life, man. This is crazy. All right, that's awesome. Right about here looks good. There we go, right there. Go ahead and drop anchor. Pull out our rod. And I'm going to go ahead and cast this shiner all the way as far as I can down that channel. I've had a lot of good luck catching pike of all shapes and sizes over here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more of that luck here today.
here we go. We got another Northern Pike, guys. Quite a few of them. Six pounder here. Not bad, not bad. Great money again for these guys. I do have premium right now, but even without premium, they still pay very well per pound. We'll go ahead and put this one on the stringer. Surprised that I haven't caught a trophy yet. All right, a little bit later in the day here, and I switched from float fishing. I want to try crankbaits again. But it's not too terribly deep out there in this channel, so I uh, got to use a three-footer. And the color I have right now is the uh, red crawfish color. I don't know how well it's going to do. Up here in Canada, the crawfish seems like it'd probably be better for um, pike down in the south. You know, pickerel, grass pickerel, that kind of thing. But we'll give it a try. We'll see if we get any hits out here on it. And maybe we'll be able to land a trophy. I haven't caught one yet today. Really surprised about that. Really surprised because, like I said, yesterday I was fishing over here and I caught four trophies all together. One of them a big 14-pounder, which was a nice size, nice size uh, northern pike to catch. But, again, just doing a retrieve of uh, one speed on the reel. And look at that. We got a hit. We got a hit. Now, it's hard to tell sometimes, like uh, you saw earlier that I did catch a lake trout out here. That was off of a large minnow. They also hit crankbaits too, and so do the Atlantic salmon. So this one I do believe is a pike though. I've got my uh, drag setting. I think I found just the sweet spot to where it won't snap on me. And what do we got here? Another Northern Pike 5.4 pounder. Man, let's see if we can cast out there. I really want to get myself a trophy. Let's see if we can cast this crankbait out there and land ourselves a trophy. a little guy though only a 3.9 pounder i'm half tempted to go back over to the dock and see if i can't land one there i gotta get a trophy before i end this video so i have thrown everything i've got out there at these pike i've thrown out crankbaits i've thrown out shiners large minnows and casting spoons as well i'm gonna go ahead and try to go back to this here walker and see if we can't can't get one. I'm surprised, guys. Really am. I have caught uh, I have caught the trophies over here, and in that little channel where we were fishing earlier with the kayak, but just can't seem to land one so far today. Maybe a little good luck and perseverance will get us through it. I don't know. I'd really like to really like to get a trophy though before I call it quits on this video. And so far, so far it doesn't look like we're getting any hits off the walker either. Starting to be a bum deal here. <laughs> Starting to be a real bum deal. I know the trophies are out there and they're just not hitting this stuff. 
really dis- Whoa, what do we got? Hold on. What? Whoa. We got a pike on here. What is this one? Boom. Look at that. Boom. Basta. Man. An 11.9 pound trophy northern pike. I almost gave up hope there, guys. I almost gave up hope. Did not think we were going to be able to pull one in, but we did. Last minute, look at that. $1,301 again. This is with premium, but they still pay very, very well per pound uh, without premium. Look at that guy. That is a big old northern pike there. Trophy northern pike right here out of White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada. All right. Good deal. Well, I feel like this is a great place to end today's episode, so you guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on future content and haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see ya.